Hey guys, Kyle Studer at kylestuder.com. I mentor final expense and mortgage protection agents to become top producers in the life insurance industry. Um, this video, I'm going over what I say when I door knock Facebook final expense leads. Okay, so I've bought uh, all of my Facebook final expense leads from tips, tricks, and closers. Uh, I recommend them. <clears throat> I think they do a pretty good job. And so some of the information you collect uh, is very important and it's very important to what I say to the client. So I want to take you through this and I think uh, I've been reasonably successful door knocking these leads. Just to be clear, I do dial through the leads and set appointments over the phone and I only door knock as needed when my appointments are not there, which happens in this line of work. So you're going to be doing door knocking uh, regardless. So it's important to practice this, get comfortable with it, and uh, have a plan. Just like on the phone where you have a script and it's repetitive and it's repetition, 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 the same thing over and over and over again, like shooting a free throw, two dribbles, spin, two dribbles, whatever your routine is, have a routine, have a game plan, have a behavior that you can do a thousand times and do it the same. So here's kind of the process. So just to give you an example, yesterday I was in the field and I am out every Tuesday in this area. So I pulled up, I don't have anything intimidating. I'll just have this, which is like a template it's a template of what the client sees. It's something like what the client sees on their Facebook feed when they fill this out and uh, that information comes to me. So I don't have uh, my planner, okay? I don't have this big thing. I don't have uh, my bag where I have all my folders at. I don't have any of that. All I have is my phone in my hand, this, that's it. So I come knock on the door, I knock as a friend, let me knock, let me, re let me restart that. Joking around, a light knock, like I know him. Um, and I don't knock like when I'm at their house, I'm trying to talk to them. I am trying to get an appointment, but more, I mean, if I can't get an appointment, it's great to get resolution. I want a yes or a no. If they're very uncomfortable with me for some reason, or they're uncomfortable with people and they're just not trusting and they've had bad experiences in life and they're just not going to have an appointment with me. Well, then that's fine. Now I know that, and I can go on to one of my next 20 or 25 leads that I got that week. So I knock. I went over that. I back up. Okay, I'm not, I'm not right up on them when they get to the door. I back up. I turn to the side. I'm non-confrontational. I'm not shoulders squared. Well, <laughs> locked on them. I would call this, I'm just acting normal. But normal is relevant. So do it like this. Because <laughs> maybe your normal won't work. Alright, so I knock like a friend. I back up. They have some distance. Uh, I'm holding this generally like this. Because I have my Google spreadsheet. I have all their information on my phone. And I have that pulled up and ready to reference. And I know their name. That's it. And if you can memorize their hobby and their beneficiary, that's great too. But you're going to have your uh, spreadsheet pulled up here of your people. And you knock on the door. You're backed up. I turn my body away. 
I have my hand over my heart. And this is like down to my side. And I'm usually doing this. So if you want to turn this way, that's okay too. <laughs> but hand over the heart. And I'm just, you know, I'm listening for them to come to the door. When they, when I start to hear them open up, I'll, you know, kind of lightly look and, hey, you must be Bob. You must be Susie. You must be Jim. Yeah. Hey, my name, my name is Kyle. I'm getting back to you. I hand them this information. I'm getting back to you about some information you requested. Um, this would have popped up on your Facebook feed. Okay, it talked about new final expense information for senior citizens in this county. I'm going to name the county. In Jackson County, in Fayette County, in Ross County. It talked about new final expense information for seniors in Ross County. Uh, some people call it burial. I've got some information here. You would put your uh, date of birth was 12-7 of 1955. Address, of course. Your favorite hobby was painting by numbers. And your beneficiary you listed as Jennifer. Now, is that your wife? Is that your daughter? That's my daughter. Okay. So, I'm just the underwriter. Uh, my job is just to go over the information with you and find out what, what program you qualify for and if you may qualify for assistance. Now, that qualify for assistance is not lying or misleading. Because you might not know what I know, but I'm referring to folks who are under a certain income bracket who may qualify for Medicare extra help, meaning they no longer pay their Part, uh, part D, which is like $144 a month. And I've learned this recently, right? So I've been doing this for seven years. So I say, my job is, I'm just a local underwriter. All I do is find out what program you qualify for. Um, it takes me about 10 minutes to find that out. Do you have 10 minutes now? I'm always trying to do it right now. Now is the best time. If you're thinking about starting a business, you're thinking about running an appointment, you're thinking about calling a lead, now is the best time to start. So I'm always trying to get the appointment there on the spot. If they kind of waffle, you know, I read their body language, I'm like, I'm paying attention. They're like, well, no, not really. It's, you know, right, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of catching you off guard, right? No problem. Hey, let me grab my schedule real quick. I'll be right back. I'll grab my schedule. And I'll have in my schedule, hey, next Tuesday, it's next time I'll be out here in your county. You see, I've got a, an 8 o'clock already in X city. I've got a 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock in these cities. Um, what would work better for you? Like, and it, so I'm being strategic. If they live in, uh, you know, Smithville, if I've got an appointment in Smithville between four, 2 and 4, I'm going to try to say, hey, I'm going to be in Smithville, Smithville between 2 and 4. Um, why, why don't I bring this by between like four and six, and I take ten minutes to go over to go over this with you. Is that fair enough? Yeah. Okay. Great. Let me pencil you in here. And Jim, is there a spouse that lives at home with you? You're doing the same stuff, the phone stuff. Nailing down the appointment. Okay. I write that down. I give them a sticky note. I write Kyle, final expense, burial program, Tuesday, June twenty sixth. 4 to 6 p.m. I say, for the love of God, please don't forget about me. So I try to bring it to their attention like, hey, I know that's a whole week from today. But please don't forget about me. 
Now, listen, agents, listen to this. This is very important. You're thinking, he books it a week out? Yes, I do, because I'm in that area every Tuesday. So the next time I'll be in the area is that Tuesday. And if you're working a different schedule or a busier schedule, if you're working the same area multiple days in a row, you can book it for later in the day. You can book it for the next day. It's always better to book it earlier and faster. Now is the best time. If not right now, later today. If not later today, tomorrow morning. You see, so the further you get away from this appointment setting by door knock, the lower your show ratio is going to uh, be. Now, as you gain experience, you get comfortable, your communication skills increase, um, you create a better connection with the client over time and with repetition, your show ratio, you can do things like that. You know, you can make exceptions, um, but you don't want to build your business on exceptions. You want to build it on the majority. And the majority of the time, it's better to do it right now or as soon as possible. So I went, I forgot to tell you. So yesterday when I was in the field, uh, I had some time in the evening. My uh, 8 o'clock appointment was not home. I was like, man, I'd like to go home. But it's still light out because it's summertime. So I door knocked a couple houses. And I don't know if they all happen in the evening at this time. But I yesterday off of door knocks, I set three appointments off of these Facebook final expense leads for next Tuesday when I'm going to be in that county. So I think I talked to I tried to I tried to chart it. I think I door knocked. I have that I door knocked five people and um I set four appointments. Three of them were for next Tuesday when I'm in the area. One of them I sat on. Um, that was a couple I mentioned in a different video. But uh, so I knocked on six doors and set four appointments. One of them was uh, I showed a presentation, and then three were for next Tuesday. So what I'm doing works. Um, you've got to find what works for you, I think, but in the beginning, you don't know what works for you because you don't, you've never done it. So it's better to adopt somebody else, somebody else's strategy who's getting results. And then over time, as you become more experienced, you can find things that work for you. But so let me reiterate what I say, and I'm not going to break character. I'm going to go all the way through this. And explain to you. So when I get out of the car, I don't have anything bulky or big. All right, nothing intimidating. When I drive my car, I'm wearing sunglasses. I don't wear sunglasses talking to the people. I take my sunglasses off. I don't want these senior citizens thinking I'm some young slick guy. Take my not. The, I don't know if that's what they think or not. But that's what I get. I, I think if I show up wearing sunglasses. It's not good. I take my sunglasses off. I leave them in the car or put them right here. So I go to the house with just this. It's laminated. I laminated it and I've got the spreadsheet. So when I get to the door, Hey, you must be Mary. Yeah. My name is Kyle. I'm getting back to you about some information you had requested. Uh, this would have popped up on your Facebook feed, and it mentioned new final expense information for senior citizens in Franklin County. Uh, I've got some information here. You would put your date of birth as 6 15 uh, 1952 uh, your address of course you put your favorite hobby as cats and you listed your beneficiary as Michael and is that your husband is that your son oh that's my son okay I'm just the underwriter 
my job is to go over the information with you to find out which program you may qualify for and to see if you qualify for any assistance. Uh, it takes me about 10 minutes to go over that with you. Do you have 10 minutes right now where I can do that? Do you have 10 minutes to go over that right now? <laughs> I understand it. I'm probably catching you off guard, right? Okay, hey, let me grab my schedule real quick. I'll be right back. Get my schedule. Okay, so the next time I'll be out here is tomorrow. The next time I'll be out here is Wednesday. The next time I'll be out here is next Tuesday. Um, so I fill these slots in two hour time frames uh, because some people have more questions than others. There's travel. Um, what works best for you, at morning or afternoon? Or I'm gonna be in Smithville at 12 o'clock. Um, Will you be home? Would it be what would be better for you to bring this by around 10 o'clock or more like two o'clock while I'm in Smithville? Okay, so another helpful thing you can do, I'm breaking character. That's about it, right? That's about what I've been saying and it's working. Um, the other day, yesterday, so I knocked on this guy's door, and I felt like it was a very constructive conversation. Uh he was very on his heels at first, right? So let me tell you what happened. This is useful. Sometimes when you're door knocking, you're catching people off guard, you're trying to buy time. Why? Because the more this client talks to you, the more they stand in your presence, the more comfortable they will become. I don't know why. They don't know anything about me. I mean, I... I do validate who I am and stuff like that, but it feels like the longer I'm there with them, the more they start to slowly open up. So this guy knocked on his door. I said, hey, blah, blah, blah. Gave him my spiel. He goes, I said, yeah, do you have, do you have 10 minutes to do this now? I said, uh, um, no, not really. And I could tell he was wandering, like, he's going to put me off. And uh, so I was talking to him well, that's okay. Um, you know, uh, probably catching you off guard, right? Yep. Okay, well, what I can do is I can come back uh, next Tuesday. That's the next time I'll be in the area. And um, it takes me about 10 minutes to go over this. Uh, well, let's just, uh, no, nah, let's just, let's just drop it. Let's just forget it. Uh, I don't want to fool with it right now. No, yeah, I understand. You know, I'm I'm catching you off guard. Uh, what what were you looking for? Well, I just I don't you know I don't want to uh yeah I do, yeah I just don't want to get into that and you know so he was not trusting me and this is how it went. This happened yesterday and um, but I just hung in there and stayed calm and continued to talk continued to converse and um, I think what happened if I remember correctly as I said uh, I basically had lost it you know he said to drop it I said hey no problem um, let me uh, I'm gonna grab you my business card real quick so I went again buying time so I went got my business card and I grabbed my schedule and I come back and when I got back he said, uh, I am interested, you know, I am, I am looking for this, you know, I need something, I don't have nothing, um, my girlfriend is kind of interested in it too, um, but, you know, blah, 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 so, hey, I understand, you know, I'm, I'm catching you completely off guard, <laughs> you filled something out on Facebook, and now I'm here, so I, I tried to reach you on the phone, but I uh, wasn't able to reach you, so I was in the neighborhood, what I did, this guy lived in a trailer park. He was like lot 26. There was another lead in the same trailer park on the same road, lot 5. I opened up my spreadsheet. I said, hey, this creates comfort. I said, hey, no worries. Let me show you this. So your information comes to me on a little Google sheet, right? A little spreadsheet. You're not the only one who's asking for help. Look, do you know this woman? She lives right here in 
your city. She lives this one. In this case, she lived on her on his street. So that made him feel better. I said, yeah, she put her date of birth here. Her beneficiary was X. Her favorite hobby was this. So he sees that, okay, this is more, this is legit. And when I came back, I had my schedule. I also had grabbed my presentation where I have my license. I said, hey, I just want to show you this. You know, this is a copy of my license. Um, some people wear this as a lanyard on their neck. This is a copy of my license. Um, so I am licensed with the state of Ohio. They've done their background check on me, all that good stuff. These are some clients. You're not the only one asking for help. And by the end of it, I didn't set an appointment, uh, but I did try. So I told him I was going to follow up with him, and I will certainly door knock him because he hasn't answered his phone. So he has my card. He probably still won't answer his phone, but I'll be back out there because I have two leads out there that I need to resolve. Um, and it turned from him to possibly him and his girlfriend. And I felt like I had pretty good rapport with him by the time I left. So I wanted to put this out, guys. I know uh, door knocking can be intimidating to a lot of people. Listen, you gotta get your mind wrapped around this properly. They asked for your help, okay? It's like when you go out to eat, when you go into a restaurant, what does the waitress say to you? Hey, what do y'all want to drink? Are you assuming that I want something to drink? Yes, they are. You're, you're in their store. They filled out a lead online about final expenses. They listed their favorite hobby, phone number, address, first and last name, beneficiary, email address. They listed some personal information. Assume that they're interested. They asked for your help. Now, if they are mad that you couldn't send something in the mail, that's fine. That's not your client. That's not the person you're looking for. You're looking for the woman that needs your help, knows she needs it, invites you inside, offers you something to drink, and you guys sit down for 45 minutes, have a nice discussion, and you make six, $700 helping this senior citizen with her final expense plan. So I wanted to put this out to help. I hope it's helpful. It's how I door knock. It's what I say, and it has been getting results. Uh, it's been pretty successful in setting appointments face-to-face. -face. Um, if you have any questions about it or if you think maybe I can help you, uh, please reach out. best way to reach out is to through my website, uh, kylestuder.com. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's a contact card. It comes to my email, and we can schedule a time to talk. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll uh, talk to you soon. Bye.